Hello world, this is Marie the Magnificent uh, coming to you. Today I just thought that I would just, you know, be the real me. So here's my tiara. Here's my shirt that says queen. Um, so this is gonna not, hopefully won't be very long, but I wanted to, um, you can tell just by looking at me, I've obviously been crying. I'm going through some stuff which I can't talk about because reasons, but I wanted to come on here and be transparent and show you that difficulties and traumas and all the terrible stuff in the world does not have to define you, nor does it have to um, ruin you. And that even though you're going through a terrible time, that you can still be you. Um, it doesn't have to crush you. It doesn't have to whatever. It feels like it. P.S. It feels like it a lot. And I am going through that a lot. But I know that I know that I know that I know that God is in control. And everything that's happening in my life or your life, it's not a surprise to him. He already knows. And he works on your behalf. A lot of times people, and this has been me too, I will pray. And I just feel like I'm just praying to the ceiling and nothing is happening. But there are things happening. We just don't know it yet because, you know, we only see through like this. And, you know, there's a huge thing. So, um, I just wanted to show you how I deal with terrible things. Um, I joke that I stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll! Um, I know it's not just for fire. Um, I stop immediately and I drop down to my knees and I pray and I roll the cares and worries and fears onto God because he said, my yoke is easy. My burden is light. Um, that means that, um, you're, you've got the stuff, but he's going to carry the load. If you allow him to, that's a big thing. Allow. So I, uh, that's what I've been doing. Uh, something that has happened that I did not want to happen but it's happening and you have to deal. I mean, you're allowed to cry. Look at that. Look at that. Also, P.S. I'm a very ugly crier and I'm bitter about that. <laughs> These girls can cry. They look perfect. And I'm like, what? That looks horrible. Just horrible. Um, and so, uh, I lost my train of thought. You guys are just going to have to get used to the buffering because it's happening. Um, but you're allowed to cry. A hundred percent. You're allowed to grieve. You're allowed to be angry. You're allowed to be those because you are human, which is a concept that I have trouble with because obviously my sense of reality is very different. <laughs> um, but you know, I'm going through this awful time. But if I wasn't telling you that I was going through an awful time, you most likely wouldn't have picked up on it because you choose who you're going to be and who's going to be in control. We go off the rails when we try to self-control. And be, let's be honest, if you could control yourself, you may not be where you are right now. You have gotten you to this point. Uh, for whatever reason, someone else, you, combination, that's where you are. So the smart thing to do is to give those to God. Now, how do you do that? You wrap it up in a bow and be like, here, God, take it. Um, there's an old country song by Garth Brooks that uh, we bury the hatchet, but leave the handle sticking out. That's what we do a lot. We're like, God, take it. And then we're like, actually, could I just have that back? Uh, so the way to give it to God is to say, Lord, 
I'm in this terrible situation that you know about and my heart is broken and I ask you to come to me and take this, these emotions and you take them. And I ask that you give me the peace that passes understanding. Um, that's why actually in the armor, uh, the, the feet are the gospel, gospel of peace. Um, because no matter what is going around you, you know, the Red Sea is in front of you, the Egyptians are behind you, and you're like, oh crap, we got, we got rescue just to die here. Um, and you may die. I mean, I'm not trying to be whatever, but you may die. But mostly you're not. Um, you just have to trust that whatever happens, for whatever reason, that God's got it under control. Um, when I start to try to, you know, I give you the will, Jesus, and I, you've done a U-turn, but uh, I think we could, uh, you know, maybe I should get this and go over there. Uh, no. Uh, you have to let him be in control of you and your situation, which is a frightening thing because people will let you down. People will fail. People will do many things, but God is not people. And his word never ends and he never breaks a promise. But like I've told you before, it may not come how you think. It may be a totally different situation or you're redeemed somehow else. And as I've told you before, it sucks. It really sucks. So right now, the things that I have been doing is I have literally been on my face asking God for mercy, for intervention, and that his will would be done no matter how I, no matter what my feelings are. My faith is, I know that God is good and God is kind and he is for me. The Bible says, who can be against me when you are for me? Um, just like those poor Israelites. Moses had, Moses had to have some faith to step out into that and raise the staff and the waters parted. Okay, do you think that happens every day? No. Uh... That was a step of faith when there was no reason that he should believe that anything was going to happen, but he trusted God. And the waters parted. Did the Egyptians still come after them? A hundred percent. Were they pursued? A hundred percent. But they were saved. And that happens to us. You know, just because... You give this all to Jesus doesn't mean, oh, I gave it to him and everything's going to be better. Tra la 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 la. Absolutely not. Things are still going to happen and you are still going to have to deal with them. But you don't have to do it alone. Uh, for me, like I've been praying, but I also have a wonderful tribe of women around me who pray for me, who intercede for me, who check on me, things like that. So that's partly some way that God takes care of you in a physical sense because you do need to be comforted. And the Bible says, uh, blessed are they who mourn for they shall be comforted. And the important thing in that is shall. That means will absolutely be comforted. But you got to accept it. I mean, he's offered it to you, but he's not going to spoon feed it or put a funnel in and just shove it into you. Nah, nah. You got to accept it. And that's faith. Uh, that no matter the circumstance, no matter, this shirt's too big, but I love it. No matter the circumstance, no matter what is actually happening, that he's got your back. And he does. Um, so, stop, drop, and roll. It's pretty easy. It sounds easy, doesn't it? But it's kind of excruciating, I must say. Because, you know, just because we have Jesus doesn't mean that we'll, that everything's a bed of roses. 
that's not true. And if you hear people preaching that, that's not what the Bible says at all. Uh, God does not want you to be rich. God does, that's not, that's counter everything that the Bible says. He said to the rich young, young ruler, uh, if you want to follow me, give up all your possessions and follow me. Because he was calling the guy out. He knew he wasn't sincere. Um, the Bible says that uh, it is easier for a camel to get through the eye of a needle than a rich man attain heaven. Does God hate rich people? No. But a lot of people who love money love that more than him. And that's an idol. Whatever you give the most of your time to, that's what you worship. Facebook, books, people, things. And that's, everyone does that in some way. Don't say, oh, I never do that. Yes, you do. Don't make me come to your house and point out all the ways in which you are in fact doing that. I mean, I would do it nicely, maybe. I might give you the side eye. No, I wouldn't do that. Everyone has to experience that and choose for themselves. But know and be of good cheer that God is for you. And he will do what he said he will do. Which is, he will be comforted. He will protect you. He will never leave you. So I think that's pretty comforting. Even through all the crying. So, that's it. Can you believe it? 11, under 15 minutes, people! <laughs> I don't know who's watching and maybe I'm pretty much talking to myself, but I appreciate you because you are allowing me to tell the truth, my truth, help you with your truth. And I appreciate that. So, uh, until next time world, bye.